Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Mindless Horror Podcast. We are here on our new set. Um, it's not a hundred, a hundred percent complete yet. A hundred percent complete. Yeah, um, it's in the works. We just needed the framing for the futon, but then after that, we're we're good to go. Hey, <laughs> clean it up a little bit, but you can't see the mess thanks to uh, Movie Magic. Movie Magic. Uh, today on the podcast, we're going to be talking a little bit of a Midsummer Screen recap because God, have we had a week. What do we have? 14 videos or 14? Oh, actually, 13 Midsummer Screen videos. 13 Midsummer Screams. And that was all last week, and uh, it was an insane weekend. Yeah, um, we put up every panel we basically went to. We put up interviews. We put up podcasts. So if you watched everything and you didn't feel like you were with us. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, it's August first. I'm also sorry. 2020. I'm also sorry for blowing up your guys' feed. It was an insane weekend, and I was letting you guys kind of know of all the gist. Uh, AC's on. I think it's picking up in the mic. Probably it's probably loud. It's gonna be hot in here for a little bit. But, you it's know, it is. That's what we do for you guys. We uh, we take the heat. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy our new background. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see him. Versus yeah, the Wolfman. Versus the Wolfman at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, we're just going to give a little recap of our weekend, what we did, who we saw, um, what we saw, and how Sammy did. And how we saw. And how we saw. Why we saw. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's your first thoughts on Mr. Screen? This was your first year going. Yeah, so we'll, we'll break it down. Uh, going in, I didn't know what to expect. Um, thankfully, I watched Fractured Compass. Shout out to our yeah. boys over at Fresh Compass. Yeah. We love you guys. Yeah, very much big fans. Um, I watched their preview a few days before whenever it came out, and I was like, okay, this is what I can expect. It's going to be huge. Um, and then we got there, and it was like, whoa. This is like the Comic-Con for horror. Yeah, it was definitely a bit overwhelming, especially as we got in line. Shout out to Fosto. Um, Good old Fosto on Saturday was helping us out with tech. Yeah, so and he also got him. us in line. Because otherwise we would have had to wait a lot longer. What lines did he get? Oh, he got you guys in the general admission line. Yeah, the general admission line. He got us in because the line was still stretching back. Oh, I'm saying for next year, anyone who's going, get gold back. Yeah. I got gold back. They didn't. They regretted yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. And now, yeah. and now they are definitely going to get that for next year. Yeah, because I'm very imp- I'm not impatient, but. But you'd like to get in the same time we did so we can stick together. Same thing with panels. We can all just get yeah. together on the yeah. same time. Yeah, just for that. Um, to be able to get the f- to the floor early, to be able to get through Hall of Everything. Shadows early, yeah, we could get in all the shorter phases. lines. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, we only did OPG Haunts and the Bloodshed Brothers. Bloodshed Brothers. Uh, we didn't end up getting to do the ride. I wanted to do that so, so bad, we really too. wanted to do um I think we just got caught up with the time. Yeah. We were on a, like a very tight schedule. Yeah, that's the that's one thing I would say is that would have been super helpful with Gold Bat is because we would have an extra hour, hour kind of, of just Gold Bats in there. Would have been so helpful those, those for both days. Well, let's see. Saturday, what did we do Saturday? So Saturday, we got to the convention. We waited like forever to get into parking. Yeah, parking took us an hour to get in. So make sure if you guys are going to go to the event, get there like at 7 or 8 in the morning. Yeah. You're going to have to wait in line for a little bit, but I guarantee you it's worth it, especially waiting in line and parking. Like for Sunday, we got there, I think, like at 830. Yeah. And we were like right below the convention center. So like it was so worth it. Yeah. Um, but we got there. Uh, we got inside. Um, we immediately went down to the show floor in the Hall of Shadows. Fosto met up with us. Uh, my girlfriend Tammy and her and her old timers, as they call themselves, the old timers. Yeah, the old timers. They all were with us and stuff. And we got there and we we checked out the, sh- the show floor for a little bit. We went through the Hall of Shadows uh, just to see what it was. We got an interview with um, uh, Kobe Hunter. That was their name of their their uh, their business. Yeah. Um, I think his name was Brett. 
You would know better than I would. I don't remember. I'm sorry if I forgot his name, but he was really nice to give us an interview. Um, I'm so sad that we didn't get to ride his like little ride, which it looks pretty fun. Yeah, definitely. It did um, look super cool. So we, we then we did that, and then um, we did a podcast with Kim and Ket, which was super fun. That was a very fun podcast. Um, so that was fun. We had a lot of fun on that. Then we walked around the show floor a little bit. We caught Decade Brigade's uh, three thirty show. I don't remember. It was the second show of Saturday. Yeah, it was at 3.30. So uh, we, we went to go support our homie Jackie from Fracture Compass. Um, she was in the show, so we went to go support her. Um, you got, you and Foster were like somewhere else. I was like sitting right next to actually Fracture Yeah, Compass. Yeah, you had the pleasure of sitting in the VIP oh, area. It wasn't, it wasn't pleasure, trust me. It was a small area, and I had to sit down. I was not allowed to stand. I know. We were in the same area. Oh, well, in our area, too, because me and Foster were in the back. We were planning on standing during the show. That way we could see it and they were like oh you have to sit in this area and i was like yeah oh um, i hate sitting crisscross applesauce on the floor yeah i did too but nonetheless the show was amazing oh the I, show was I, super cool i enjoyed it i really wish i would have been able to see it um i think next time i'll be trying to stand in the standing room area yeah just because it was kind of hard to see um with people in front of me definitely definitely um yeah i was right there with brief from fracture compass and we were filming the the whole thing um and yeah, and then after that, we ran straight to the HHN panel. Yeah, we ba yeah we basically did run the HHN Wait, panel. Uh, we waited in line for that. We met up with uh, we didn't meet up with anybody actually. We just sat through the HHN panel, and then that that finished our Saturday. We caught up with TLEV for a little bit, bit yeah. after the event. Oh, we podcasted after that. How can you forget? We podcasted with Theme Park. Band. Yeah, <laughs> that was our last podcast for the day, and then we caught up with TLEV for a little bit. And then uh, we went to go see Mumford and Sons. Super good time. And Super good time. Very tired. Frustrations. Oh, my well, that's God. Besides started. That's a different story for another day. <laughs> uh, Sunday, we uh, we got to the convention center early. We got in line. got a good spot. And um, what was that? I mean, it was just it was just one of the – it was just a good day Sunday. Another, yeah, it, it was a busy day, I'll tell you. Yeah, was, Sunday was super busy. But it was – instead of us having to run from, like, podcast to podcast – or podcast to panel to podcast. It was <laughs> panel to panel. Just panel to panel. So Sunday we got in. We I was the, old, the John Cook. That's what we did. John Cook. That was John Cook's trilogy day. <laughs> um, but Sunday we got in and we uh, immediately, <laughs> or I was with TLAV yeah, for like the whole the morning. Day. Yeah. We were there with them all day actually. Yeah. So uh, shout out to TLAV as well. Um, those guys are very good friends of the channel. Go check their channel out if you haven't. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you subscribe to this channel, you already subscribed. To yeah. Them. And so we'll be with them. August 17th. August 17th. So for our live stream. So this will be coming out. out a few days before that, I'm sure. Yeah, so if you uh, are not doing anything August 17th, Saturday at 7, join us for a live stream with live games, live Q&A, yeah. and some movies. It'll be a good time. It's going to be good. And if it's uh, not a good time, you can lie to us and say you had a good time. It's going to be a good time. It will be. It's TLEV. Come on. It'll be funny. Um, and then after that, uh, what was the first panel we did for the day? Uh, it, uh, uh, first panel was Haunted Hayride. Haunted Hayride. Yeah. We walked around. We did Opichi Hunt's uh, Haunted Hunt. Which was super fun. Super fun, super interactive. And then we got an interview with Sam and the Bloodshed Brothers. Yes. Um, so that was cool of them. Thank you to Bloodshed Brothers and to Sam from Opichi Hunt uh, for giving us the interview, giving us a little. Yeah, I really loved his little boo jamboree. Yeah, it was fun. It was uh, Bloodshed fun. Brothers put on a pretty good um, maze as well. We went through that one Saturday. Yeah, and I survived. Survived. Yeah, um, and I and I did like how he explained that a lot of his influences for this maze were like House of a Thousand Corpses and stuff like that because I saw a lot of that in that maze. Yeah, it was. I was. I was so scared to go in. It was, but you did good. I did good. I did, I did good. good. That was a little sample of what you'll see at Horror Night. Yeah, it's gonna be Just a, a wee bit. Sample. It's gonna be a lot worse. It's gonna be a lot worse. They actually try to scare you to the hell. Yeah, um, to hell. If I end up falling on the floor and crying, I mean, I apologize now. Um, I'm sure the someone will help the me scares, out. The scares in the Bloodshed Brothers maze were amazing. Um, I mean, I like the the characters that they had in there and stuff. They yeah, were fun. I don't I even remember it because I think I blocked it out. Let's be honest. Um, and it, we we entered into the room, and of course, you see the the character sitting on the chair. Oh yeah, yeah, they got me. And it was like a Halloween kind of vibe in there. Uh, it was like Trick or Treat meets House of a Thousand Corpses. Mm -hmm. Then you walked in and you saw another guy. He was trying to like uh, shake some stuff and scare you. And then you had that like crazy lady at the end and stuff. Yeah. two crazy ladies actually. Yeah, I don't remember the the other guy. The guy, the second guy. The second guy when we walked down the hallway, he was waiting for us there. When we turned the corner, he was trying to like. He was, he was oh yeah, 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 I do remember that now. And then uh, then the second, the last, the third room we went in was the the crazy lady kind of shouting. At everybody, yeah, and then the last room we went and asked, she asked if we got scared, and uh, she told us to get out, yeah. 
That's how the maze ended, which was pretty good. Get out! Yeah, yeah that was fun. Uh, Wait, uh, on a side note, every time I, I have to say this, every time I hear someone at work, they're always like stirring their tea and like they they have the spoon against the bottom of the cup. Yeah, I'm always just like, oh god, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> um. From there, we went to our first panel, LA Haunted Hayride, and we got a free ticket to the Hayride, yeah. so expect to see us there. Yeah. I don't know when. Yeah, that, that'll be announced soon, hopefully. Soon, hopefully. I got to talk to, hopefully, TLV are down to go. We'll see if they want to go. Yeah. Um, so we went to go that. We got that ticket, and we'll, we will be at the Hayride. But they actually announced a lot of good stuff. Oh, I am so excited for LA Haunted Hayride. I've never been. Neither have I. But it's its 10th year. It's its 11th, 11th year, and it's bigger and better. But yeah, they got John Cook on board from uh, was it Plague Productions yeah. at 13, 13th, 13th floors, floors now floor the owner. So yeah, so they're gonna really they're really stepping it up this year. And, I, stuff, and so. I know that from my sister Celine, who's been on the channel before, they have two haunts in the Phoenix area, and both of those are from 13th floor, and she's said nothing but good things about them. So that's good. So I'm super excited to see how they do on the hayride. On the hayride, and I really love the idea. If you if you haven't watched the panel, watch the panel. But I really enjoy how they're going to have the interconnectivity of all, of all four experiences between, you know, you have your standard. It's all based around one little city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where it's always Halloween. I love how, like, the town center, there's going to be a lot going on. we got to also listen to the radio broadcast. Yeah. They said there's a lot of tie-ins. Yeah, yeah, which is going to be super Easter epic. Um, it's going to be super epic because you get to interact with the scare actors in the town center. Um, you have your standard um, haunted house type deal with the morgue. I forget the name of the morgue, but if you watch the panel, you'll find out. Then we have what's coming back with the trick-or-treating element of it, going to like the different houses, which is going to be super cool because I heard um, Fractured Compass talked about it a little bit on their channel about how like it was a lot of fun because you get to go up to like different houses and they're going to scare the hell out of I, I saw some footage of it last year and it did look fun. Uh, they they go up and each house has like a different theming. Yeah. And it looked cool. And I'm really excited because you get free candy. So I mean. Free candy. Yeah, we're okay. And I heard the candy's pretty good. It's not like it's just. Candy's candy. Like 99 cent shit. Yeah, it's not like 99 cents. Even the 99 cent stuff is good. I mean, yeah, but it, it'll be good quality candy. Um, and then you have the like farm area. What was that? Like. They're going to have chainsaws. I just know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know the Haunted a is going to start with, if you guys were at Midsummer Scream, I actually got footage of it in the vlog. If you look at the Midsummer Scream vlog in a nutshell, um, in the vlog, one of the first things you look at when you walk into the convention center was their facade for the gas station. Yeah, which is super cool. Which is cool. So that's going to be actually the facade when you go on the hayride. Yeah, well, yeah. So for the hayride, yeah. So that's the last part of it. It's the hayride. But they had mentioned that there was another like maze up in the hills where it's kind of like a farm-esque. Like, that's cool. I can't wait for that. Yeah, I'm yeah, super excited for that. I know there's going to be a lot of chainsaws, they said. So it's going to be fun. It's going to terrify the crap out of me. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be very fun. Because I hate um, chainsaws. What about, what do we do after that? We went to... Then we got in line. Got in line for the not scary. Yeah. Oh, no, the Queen Mary. Yeah. Queen Mary. Uh, we got there early, and we were just kind of chilling. Yeah, At that yeah. point, that was where I, I get to upload all my footage and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That was my little break. Yeah, that was our little break in the day to wait in um, line because we got there super early. Yeah, we got there about an hour early. Uh, a far warning, too, um, especially for Midsummer Scream. Uh, the thing about these panels sometimes is if you want to see panels that you want to see in the main stage, sometimes they're back to back, like Queen Mary and Not Scary Farm are back to back. Yeah. So once you get out of one, once one panel ends, you can't stay for the next one. You got to get out and get back in line. So if I ever suggest you, if you're going to do Midsummer Scream, I would do this. Um, either you have someone that uh, waits in line for that panel while you go into the other panel and cover it or however you want to do it or you guys both either go in and you got one of them steps out a little bit early just so they can get in line yeah i mean it, it's not really a big deal if you're just going to have fun yeah, yeah but, but if, if you're, you're covering if you're doing event, what we're doing like you yeah you have to do that's what I, so like i think next year like one panel i'll probably i'll have sammy go film it and then like I'll stay outside and wait for the next panel. Yeah. That way we have a spot in line to get for the next panel. Especially panel. because I'm a little sad and a little bitter uh, because with the Knots one, the first like 20 people in line got tickets to go to their event. Oh, really? Yeah, the yeah, first 20 people got tickets. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, so they're going to be able to go watch. Wow. Yeah. To the, uh, the, the the press event? Yeah, the press event. The, the pass holder thing? Yeah, the pass holder thing. Wow. Well, I mean, I it's open to the general public. I just don't know if there's going to be tickets available. No, it's not. It's, it's only for pass holders. No, no, I swear, bro. It's, they have 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Oh, okay. Uh, but the 8 o'clock reservations, I don't know if there's going to be any available at that point. Well, they're going, they're going, they're going, they go on sale tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. As I was just recording. And they're free, so I'll look into it. 
so we'll see what happens. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, if we can get it, you'll, you'll see us there. If not, we'll watch their live stream. We're really trying to kind of turn it around and cover a lot media-wise for events like haunts and stuff like that. Um, after that, we went to, of course, the Not Scary Farm. But the Queen Mary panel Oh, yeah, we, we, we have to talk about the Queen Mary panel. That, I mean, I mean so... Uh, Reminiscent of last year, I mean, minus the ringleader, she's hilarious that she wasn't there this year. But the captain, dude, he's just hilarious. Oh, my God. The captain literally made me so excited for the event. I can literally just sit down and watch the captain all day. I, I love the I, they had great dynamic. I want to try to arrange something. Hopefully, if Queen Mary is cool with it. To just interview the captain. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Like, that would make the event, like, so great. Like, he's hilarious. He's so sarcastic. I loved that he was because he had a script, and I loved that he was going off script. And I yeah, loved that he was his own stuff. And I loved that he was just making fun of everyone. On the I love. I love the jab with John Cook though. He's what? like, "What aren't you doing? What aren't you doing? What haunt aren't you in? Are you involved in all the haunts?" And John was like, "Yeah, yeah." I was like, "Dude, John Cook is just like the man. That motherfucker has a busy schedule." Dude. Yeah, but he does such good work. Yeah, but the captain is hilarious, and um, and um, if you're looking to drink, go to Queen Mary. Yeah, they have bars. Thirteen bars this year. Thirteen bars, couple secret bars. The, there's the most secret one that they're opening up. The door, I believe it's thir door thirteen, right, or something like that. No, no, no. We're gonna go through door thirteen during one of the mazes. It's gonna be one that's like six stories deep, so it's gonna be super. It's gonna be an engine room, I think. But you gotta find like this elevator. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's actually during the maze. You gotta find stuff like that. Yeah, which is so. I mean, they're exciting. known. They're known for their secret bars and their bars. It's an alcohol friendly event, which in some cases is good, but in other cases, I mean, it depends. Yeah, I mean, I have a little bit of fear for the uh, scare actors because obviously alcohol taints people and makes them do stupid stuff. Do stupid things. And I can see like one drink maybe for us. Yeah, <laughs> if that. Maybe. It depends what our budget. Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, uh, our uh, budgets are a little tight with. Yeah. Between Just horror nights and stuff. Not. Uh, then the last panel we attended was not Scary Farm, uh, which was a great way to end. It was a great way to end. It was a good way to chill. Uh, Robert met, us, met up with us during the Queen Mary panel, our photographer, uh, Robert Lopez. Go ahead and follow him on uh, Instagram, Rolo Visuals. Um, guy puts amazing pictures up. Um, but, yeah, he joined us during the, the Queen Mary panel, took a bunch of amazing pictures for the at the event. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, they announced that the Knots panel, they're bringing back Dark Ride and the last year of Spec Ops Infected. Yeah, and we definitely went into that pretty good with our – our other podcast with Fractured Compass, so yeah. go check that out. Cause check that out if you want to hear what everyone has to say, especially from them too. They've yeah. actually worked the Spec Ops, the Spec Ops maze, so they know yeah. what. Oh, the light died on us, didn't it? Damn it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go lightless. <laughs> so yeah, the light died on us midway. So yeah. Anyway, that's actually a little bit better for me. <laughs> yeah, I was blind. Blind. <laughs> um, but yeah, that it was a great midsummer, um, and I cannot wait for next year. Yeah, August first and second. 20, 20 LA, uh, Los Angeles convention or Long Beach Long Beach convention. Center. You want it to be LA, but it's Long Beach. If it's gonna get any bigger, then it's gonna have to go to Lo Los Angeles. But yes, but Long Beach Convention Center. Long Beach Convention. We'll Center. be there. Um, yeah, and we're, we're gonna cover the event. Uh, hopefully, all of the Knights of Horror will be there all all weekend, um, and maybe some friends of the channel will join us again. Like Fosto, he showed up, and that was really cool. Yeah, that was super cool. Um, the old timers, my girlfriend and her friends. That's yeah. what we call them on the channel. That's what their group is known by, and they actually get a kick out of it when we call them the old timers. I don't know. I haven't called them that. But, hey, you would know better than I would. The old timers. Uh, they were kind of like our little entourage at, uh, yeah. at Midsummer Street. Yeah, they, kept cool. me, they kept me company when we were waiting in line. Kept Sammy company because he was GA and they were GA, so that was cool. Um, all of our friends, thank you for uh, being on podcasts with us and just saying hi and hanging out with us. Um, some of you we've actually met for the first time in person. Uh, Fractured Compass, we met them for the first time in yeah, person. They were super cool, super nice, and some of our, our, our good friends of the channel. We love collabing with them. Uh, theme Park Pass was the first time yeah. we met them. Kim and Ket was the first time yeah. we met them in oh, person. Oh, yeah, how can we forget? They, they had such a great podcast. Yeah, yeah, Sunday night, we ended the night of Midsummer Scream and the unofficial Midsummer Scream after party at Pulp Fiction Comics yeah, unofficial. for uh, their live show, which was really... I, 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 I love listening to the show, but just seeing it in person was just like... Yeah, wow, this is great. They have such a great dynamic, and they're, Straight, they, they could they're really just talk. Yeah. You can just really tell that they enjoy ha hanging out with each other. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I see a lot of them. I see a lot of us in there. Yeah, no, we definitely did mention that. Yeah. You know, watch our podcast. podcast. Watch all of our videos, please. Watch all of our videos. Watch and then all the Midsummer subscribe screen. if you're not subscribed, and then share. Welcome to the Madhouse. Yeah, get us to 1,000 subscribers. So that Almost we there. We're at 400. Yeah, We're going to be at 400 pretty soon. I would love to see an ad on our video one day. <laughs> That'd be great, right, Nate? Um, 
But yeah, in all seriousness, we do this because we love you guys. We do it just because we love doing it. Yeah. And uh, we we will probably never stop. At least I'll never stop doing it. Don't stop. I mean, if we get big, I'm Sammy will probably be doing this full time. And yeah. you know, we'll know. We you know. We all know. Hopes and dreams. Um, Hopes and dreams. So we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, if you guys already watched the podcast, or it's getting released, I don't know yet. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put this one out first. So, so tomorrow, tomorrow, John Lazari will be on the show. Yeah, he'll be our our fun time. I'm assuming we had a great experience with him. And if we didn't, then that's our fault. We didn't. You gotta think positive. We had a great experience. No, we are going to. I know we are. I, John Lazari, dude. I mean, he's a great composer. He went to USC, right? Killer clowns. Killer clowns from Inner Space. Inner space. Inner space, bro. Intergalactic, bro. Um, yeah, John Mazzari is on the show. Um, Friday, we put up... Uh, I I don't know. I can't tell the future. I don't know what my schedule is like. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, we're just going to keep trying. We're going to keep going. Uh, this weekend, we're going to go film a podcast with uh, TLV Media, and that will be out next week, so stay tuned for that. And we'll be on, the, on their live stream August 24th. Seventeenth, no, August twenty fourth is our live stream. Yeah, August seventeenth, we'll be on doing a live stream with TLV Media, watching some movies, playing some games, just hanging out, answering your questions. And then August twenty fourth, we're gonna start our series of live streams. Um, so far, I got two planned out, um, and I will let you know when the second one is. I I have a date in mind, but it all depends what what goes down. But, yeah, uh, yeah. This oh, actually, the day of this release is my birthday. Oh, this is a uh, happy birthday. Thirteen. Finally, twenty one. So happy birthday to me. So, uh, yeah, I think we're done here. So that is going to do it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.